Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a commission of Sailor Moon, and I'll be showing some of the costume construction, the face-up, the final looks at the end, and I also have an exciting announcement. So I'm starting out by making the skirt here, and I'm using some cotton blue fabric that I cut into four pieces to make a circle skirt. I'm trimming up the ends and folding them over and using my flat iron to hem them. And then I add a little bit later, off camera, I add some hem tape to and iron that in to seal the edges, rather than use some stitching that I don't want to be seen. So here is the top that I made. And for the collar, I'm going to use some, I, I've lined it out with a watercolor pencil, and then I'm gonna use this fabric paint to do the lines. I did two coats. I didn't add it on directly. This is one of those squeeze bottles of puff paint that you can use, but I didn't want to do that because I wanted the lines to be very fine. So I painted them on with a really small uh, paintbrush. So for the boots, I used a pair of Monster High boots. I cut them and uh, took off the detail with an X-Acto knife, sanded them down and painted them. And then I used some Mod Podge so the paint wouldn't chip. And what I'm doing here is I made my own piping to add some detail to the top of the boot. And I'm gluing that on with some E6000 glue. I wasn't sure if this glue would work like I wanted it to, but I tested it later and it's held very tightly. I also used a little bit of glue on the ends to prevent it from fraying where I cut it. I'm using these coffee stirrers just to push it down a little bit. Make sure it's well adhered. And then I'm using some super glue to add these epoxy resin moons that I made with some epoxy resin and glitter. Some of the more tedious things I may do off screen. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I have, this is the head that I rooted with some hair from the doll planet. I think it was in a couple of different shades. Um, I'll put in the description box below if I can find what colors they were. But the doll planet's hair, nylon hair, is very nice. It can take some heat and can be curled, so it was perfect for what I needed it for there to make her hair extra long. So I added, they also sent some glue um, and I added that in to seal in the hair inside the head. So I'm doing the face up here and as usual I've coated her with four coats of Mr. Super Clear and then I'm using this Faber-Castell Art Grip in, uh, I believe it's Van Dyke Brown. And I'm just using that to shape, get the eye shape. I usually just use the white to make the eye shape, but the skin tone on this is so pale that the white doesn't show up very well, so I can see what I'm doing. I'm using the end of the paintbrush here to just kind of measure the width to make sure that the eyes are even. So by the way, if you're a $5 or more supporter on Patreon, a step-by-step -step video of me in real time with, with voice will be released later in May, and it's going to show how I created the waterline and the tear duct on this stall. It'll be like live, well not live, but um, in real time speed while I'm talking step-by-step -step how I did the tear duct and waterline. So speaking of Patreon, I have some exciting news. So this is the announcement that I mentioned. My relaunch of Patreon is starting today. So make sure to click on the link in the description box below and check out my Patreon page because I'm basically giving away everything I know about doll customization to my supporters as, um, as the months go on. And I'm really excited about this relaunch. So beginning 
May 1st, which should be today, the time that this video is released, I have a brand new Patreon tier set up. So I'll be sharing my most important techniques, my biggest secrets, all of this with my supporter to my supporters. They will receive that information <laughs> as we go month to month. So in other words, those who are interested in learning how to do what I do at either a beginner level or someone who is looking to level up um, in the craft, um, they'll all have an opportunity to learn things that have really helped me along the way. So for those at the $5 tier in particular, there will be at least two exclusive videos or posts each month, which will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and the other will be what I consider a game changer. So starting today, I've released the very first game changer for May, which is how I made the eyelashes that I made for this doll. So um, how the eyelashes that you will see in the, the um, photo, final photos for the final looks of this doll, I made those and I'll show you how in that game changer video that is on my Patreon page for the $5 tier. So I'm very excited about that relaunch and all of this stuff that I've prepared. I also have tons of other things um, already prepared and some, some in the works also. And I'll share things about like how to change the color of a doll so it doesn't crack. I have some business tips and how I price my dolls and the, the downloadable tools that I use to price my dolls and how I track my orders and how I use, how I handle commissions. So all of this stuff I want to share with those who are trying to um, start doing this more um, for either for a living or for a side project. So I'm just wanting to share all this information with my supporters, so I'm excited to do that. So it's super exciting stuff. So I hope you guys will check out, at least take a look by clicking the link uh, to Patreon in the descri description box below. And of course, no matter what way you're able to support me, whether it's liking, subscribing, commenting on this video, or becoming a patron, I truly appreciate all of it. Thank you so much. So sorry to keep <laughs> talking too much away from what I'm doing here in this video. Um, right now I'm working on the eyebrows and I'm coloring in, I did like a blonde out of pan pastel, like two colors of yellow. And then I'm using the Faber-Castell Van Dyke Brown to shade in the outer corners of the eyebrow. I'll shade those in and then I'll start to work it into some um, more detail like the hair is going towards the center of the forehead. And I'm just, I was doing some shading on the nose um, or some highlighting and blending that in. And what I did previously on the lips with some pan pastel, I'm using a, a red geranium lake watercolor pencil by Derwent to uh, refine that look a little bit, just smooth out those outer lines. And then I'm using this paper pastel sort of peachy color to blend that in. So along with the exciting changes that I'm making to Patreon, I'll be focusing just as much on YouTube as well. I have a Q&A video coming up soon, so make sure to drop your questions in the comment section if you have any questions that you would like me to address or answer on that video, which will be coming up soon. And some of my future videos are planned. They're going to be more of a tutorial style. I have a few planned to be more tutorial rather than just the speed paint and voiceover uh, because I'm becoming aware that m most or at least a lot of those who are watching my videos are tuning in to learn the craft themselves or to just get ideas. Um, may already uh, may already be a doll artist and are just trying to get some other ideas or get better. So let me know what kinds of things you would like to see. I'm using this terracotta Derwent watercolor pencil to give some detail to the ears. And I usually like to add some blush to the tops of the ears. I'm 
blending that out with a Q-tip. And then using this Faber-Castell Art Grip that has a very hard core that will allow me to do fine lines, I also like to use that for the eyelid line. And now I'm just going to start the shape of the eyes. And I do kind of one at a time back and forth to make sure that they're the same size and shape. So I was adding some highlights to the upper lip and around the eyes. I'm sorry that my hand is in the way for a lot of that. And once I feel confident with the shape of the eyes, then I'll go in with a darker color and kind of outline them a little bit. And here I'm adding a little bit of yellow for some highlights in the eyes. For the pupils, I decided to get a little, get away a little bit from the typical black pupil, and use a couple of different colors and shade them a bit. So here I'm doing some shading around the outer corners and inner corners to make it appear more round than flat. And I'm doing some heavier shading on the upper lid. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Oh, I forgot. Here's the eyelashes that I'm adding. And again, in my Patreon video, you can see how I made these eyelashes. Have a great day. Bye.